giving ministers a free hand in how they campaign on Europe. A sign of a loss of control, in your opinion? No, I think the Prime Minister made it very clear that he, he's been thinking this way for a long time. I think it's the right thing to do. It's something that people have different views on. It's a question of principle, how far you think that this country's sovereignty should be traded away or shared, or have you want to put it, in exchange for membership of the, of the EU. And it's something on which everybody can legitimately have different views and indeed people are in, in a bit internally divided. My own view is I want to be uh, you know, part of a, of a reformed EU and I've, I've, always, I've always said that, I, that's, my, that's my preference, but if we can't get the reform we need then Britain has a great, great future elsewhere and outside in, in, a, in a different relationship. He's got off the fence, that answer indicates to many that you still haven't got off the fence. No, I'm waiting to see the outcome of the negotiations. I think that's the right thing to do and uh, you know, I think the Prime Minister as I say is uh, playing a difficult hand but playing it very well let's, let's see where we get to in February, March, whenever it's going to be. When you get off the fence you might find yourself campaigning against the Prime Minister. Well, let's, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I think it would be you know, a little bit previous to... to let, let's, let's see where we get to. But I think it's very very important in these talks to be robust and to recognise that Britain is the fifth biggest economy in the world. There is no way on earth that uh, Germany, which has a massive trade surplus with us, look at all these BMWs all over the BBC car park, uh, nobody is going to want to, uh, they're not going to want to lose that. They are going to want to maintain good trading relations with us. We've got a great future either way.